Hey, folks. Good evening. <laughs> Too many travelers here. Yes, we are. Mm -hmm. yeah, normally, we, uh, we go to southern Indiana. This time, we figured we'd mix it up a little bit. We're up north. Mm -hmm. We're in a little town, Amish country, in Shipshawana. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Shipshawana, that's... It's, it's fun to say. It First is fun to say. All. But you got to be careful. Especially if you're a kid, if you slip up when you're saying Shipshawana, well, you can be sent to your room. You know, you don't, you don't want that. It's a tricky one. Mm -hmm. Could be a tongue twister. Mm -hmm. But anyway, we're here in Shipshawana, Indiana. On a Saturday. We got here a little late in the day, so I don't know how eventful this is going to be because uh, I understand things are going to be shut down pretty quickly. So we'll do the best we can. But we're here at the uh, at the Blue Gate Garden Inn. Yes. Yeah. So we're going to hang out. We'll show you around the hotel. We'll show you around this little town, this little quaint town. And hopefully it's not too late in the day where we can find something to do. We'll find some things. Yeah, we'll find Shopping. something. Shopping. Yeah. 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 But at any rate, Folks, buckle up <laughs> and buckle in. And let the ship Shawana experience begin. You got that right. Come on. Now walking in, you really get a sense of just how grand this hotel is. And we're going to walk you through the hotel. You'll see just how how big it actually is. There's a lot of things that the hotel offers. Uh, the hotel does have a little eatery, ice cream parlor. Uh, they serve up burgers, hot dogs, sundaes, you name it. Just all kinds of tasty treats. Now, one of the other things that you'll find in the hotel are some additional amenities. Well, one of them is the arcade. And so the arcade, it's not very big, but it's fun. There's a lot to do there. They've got air hockey, ski ball. They've got, uh, oh, the little the crab claw things where you can get the stuffed animals and what have you. So really, really good time here. And I imagine uh, a family coming here would just have a wonderful time. Kids would love it. Being able to play pinball, being able to play Pac-Man, that type of thing. So folks, when you're here in Shipshawana and you're staying at uh, this beautiful hotel, I think you're going to have a great time. Also with the hotel, there's a lot of history. They've had a lot of musical acts that come through as they do have a uh, performing arts center that's right next door to the hotel. So they'll have these huge acts that come through, uh, primarily around country music and the Christian genre. And then also they've had some pop acts that come through. But the hotel is just great. They've got a lot of entertainment that is right here on site. And as you can see, they've had some great acts to come through. A lot of history here. Now the outdoor accommodations are really, really wonderful. Now, as you can see when you walk out, the landscape is just breathtaking. Great little features with the waterfall. Great areas just to sit back and relax and oversee the, uh, the wide openness of uh, Northern Indiana, this area of the country. But again, because we are in Indiana, you know there's basketball. Now the hotel, is a very nice hotel the room that we stayed in they do have larger rooms but the room that we stayed in it wasn't very big but it was clean it was nice and tidy it was comfortable yeah, it did what we needed it to do we we're just staying the night
And as I mentioned earlier, the Performing Arts Center is right next door to the hotel. Again, this is where you're going to find great musical acts, as well as the musicals that are sometimes hosted. Now, going downtown into the village, you'll probably want to drive. It's really not walking distance, not to mention it's on a busy thoroughfare. Uh, although you're out in the country, quite a bit of traffic rolls through here. So you'll definitely want to jump in your car in the hotel and drive into the village and just wander around a lot of different areas of shopping, a lot of great boutiques to be able to grab a cafe, a little bagel, or just whatever it is you're looking for. And the Davis Hotel, they've got a lot of accommodations. I'm not sure of the number of stores, but it's quite a bit. And as I mentioned, we came in later in the evening, so we didn't get to take in everything that I had to offer. But they had this really, really cool area on the third level. They had this old kind of throwback candy store that was just loaded up with everything you could imagine. But uh, yeah, it was a great time. So when you come to Shipshawana, you're not going to be disappointed. But make sure that you get there early enough in the day so that you can enjoy everything that it has to offer. And JoJo's Pretzels. Yeah, it's exactly what they say about Amish pretzels. The best pretzel I think I've ever had in my life. So try JoJo's. This is another popular shopping destination, the Red Barn. The Red Barn has uh, several shops, really, really nice. The folks there, the staff, the store that we went into, everybody was just wonderful. And uh, ended up getting a nice little coffee there on the second level, it was really, really good. But as mentioned, no shortage of things to do in Shipshawana when it comes to shopping. In fact, they've got one of the largest flea markets in the Midwest area. So hopefully you make that flea market and really take in what it has to offer. Not to mention you're surrounded by all the beauty of Shipshawana. But when you stay at the Blue Gate, one of the great things about it is in the morning you get a breakfast pass and this breakfast, this breakfast is so good. They've got a spread like you wouldn't believe. Everything is so, so, so fresh. It is, it is farm to table cooking around here. They also have an omelet bar which I took advantage of, I ended up splitting my omelet with Vicky because it looked so tasty. She didn't know that they had it going on, but it was going on, and it was good, along with those biscuits and gravy. Mmm, it was all good. <laughs> you gotta check it out. And then I mentioned all the pastries were so fresh, so, so fresh. Ship Shawana, population 677, almost became 678, we didn't want to leave. And my math is right because Vicky and I are just one, okay? Now we did fast forward in time a bit. We've already spent the night. We've had breakfast. It's Sunday morning. We're heading out. Well, folks, that's going to wrap it up for Ship Shawana. That's a wrap, folks. Yeah. <laughs> I just mimic what he says sometimes because it's fun. Here it is. It's a beautiful Sunday morning. We're heading out. And do you hear that? It's silence. Because here in Amish country, they honor the Sabbath. Yes, that's good. That's a great thing. More people should uh, be made aware of this. Yeah. And so on Sunday, they closed down everything. The entire town closed down. And so it's even more peaceful. Yeah. Because it's already peaceful once you arrive. But it's, it's nice. Yeah, it's been a real nice, uh, real nice trip. It was just a little day trip that we took. I gotta tell you, the hotel was outstanding. Mm -hmm. The breakfast. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the best breakfast we've ever had. 
in a hotel. Yeah, as far as like yeah, the uh, complimentary breakfast yeah. that they offer, everything is formed to table around here in Shipshawana. And yeah. we didn't we didn't really do much filming of the dinner that we had, mm -hmm. but we went to Middlebury and I got to tell you, man, oh man, oh man, everything was so good. And just so fresh. Yeah. And the service Oh. Service, service the entire time we've been here has just been just beyond belief. It is. It's so good. Yeah. People should come here if you're in the service industry and just take notes because they do it right. This is like perfection. It's, uh, it's definitely a hard working community. You see it yes. all around. Yeah, and so definitely enjoyed our stay. We'd love to come back. Vicki was having a conversation with one of the gals and they were saying to come back around Christmas oh, time yeah. yeah Christmas time we, we are gonna put that on our radar for sure the lights you know everything the town just transforms again they do seasonal uh, you know like most little towns do but the fall uh, they said to come back in the fall I don't know that we're gonna be able to come back every season but it, it's a three-hour drive and and yeah it would be nice to see it in with the snow and the lights and the whole Christmas vibe yeah it's a very very neat community so folks, in closing, on this peaceful Sunday morning, good day to you. Thank you so much for watching, as always. Until next time, <laughs> see you next time. Goodbye. <laughs>